In this video, I'm going to show you how to make use of the pull curl or the paragraph mark. The paragraph mark can be found in the home tab and it's this little figure that looks like a backwards P. The pull curl or the paragraph mark basically helps you see the formatting within your document. To enable it, you can just click on the paragraph mark symbol. Once you've enabled it, you'll see a lot of blue paragraph marks as well as additional formatting marks within your document. You can see, for instance, that it shows you where your text is formatted in a particular way. So you can see all the headings have these black dots. It also shows you the beginning or the end of a new paragraph. And you can see that at the end of each paragraph, there's a paragraph mark. The last thing that this is useful for is that it shows you how many spaces you have between your words. Sometimes people make the mistake of leaving more than one space between their words and then Microsoft Word picks this up as an error. For instance, you can see there's one space between these words, but I can also create more than one, in which case Word will underline it. If you do not have the paragraph mark enabled, you won't be able to see that there's more than one space and why Word is underlining that text. So the paragraph mark is really useful to see that your document has in fact been formatted correctly. A very last reason why this is useful is if your document is formatted in a particular way, especially using the styles and navigation pane, there are many useful tools that you can use within Microsoft Word, such as the tables of contents feature, or the navigation pane. However, if you don't know how to make use of this paragraph mark, you might find that your navigation pane or your table of contents is not coming out the way you want to and you might not know why that is. The paragraph mark is really useful for getting a sense of what is actually going on within your document.